Hello guys, welcome back to the Bazooka playthrough. So next stop is Sim 9. So for comparison, on my sniper playthrough, this one took e, uh, 12 tons. Now this one might be quite difficult for my bazooka party because a lot of the enemies here have impact armor plus they are melee. So we need plenty of DPS. Let's see how this goes. So we want to take out these two missile layers ASAP. So that we can uh, set ourselves up in position there for the incoming horde of melee units. I hate that you're missing from this close. That's fine, that's fine. We're gonna be taking a lot more damage by the time uh, this is done. I just want maximum accuracy, maximum DPS. Can't even get one this time. There's gonna be so much pain. Oh, I guess uh, he couldn't really use his missiles. Yeah, I'm completely fine with this. We are within his minimum range. But what about the other missile there? Interesting. Anyway, let's set ourselves up. God damn it, I should have moved Lewis. Alright, one down. Should move Lewis. Just look at how beefy these things are. We need more and more damage like that. Give me a break. I guess Ines, Ines to do, Ines does so much more damage because she's got uh, more bazooka levels. Seventy-six percent accuracy. Next one will go after the turret. All right. So 
so it is that we have to deal with any missile shenanigans. Here come the melee units. to get up right close to the turret as well. Unbelievable. Anyway, got him. So now all we're doing is waiting for this melee, melee guy to show up. I'm just gonna position myself here. And wait. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. Good thing I moved Drangus away. Otherwise he would have been able to attack. Yeah, so these guys have impact armor. That's going to prove a bit challenging. Let's see what, let's see how quickly we can dispatch of them. Of course, uh, rifles had the benefit of uh, doing pierce damage on these guys with impact armor. Zukas are gonna be doing shit damage, so we're go once again we're gonna have to rely on splash damage, but that's not nearly gonna be enough. I guess these uh, links really are gonna work well for us. But very soon, unle unless you are efficient, uh, we're gonna get swamped by these melee units. Good. I don't have any healing. When mine legs destroyed, that will cripple him. Oh yeah, that's right. These guys have uh, excellent dodge as well. Anyway, this got his legs. And once the grenade launcher makes it anywhere near us, we need to prioritize him, otherwise his damage will just keep adding up. But it's still gonna take a couple turns for him to reach near us. So far, so good. Right into the trap. And we managed to dodge. This is perfect. guys have so much AP left. Here's the next melee unit. So right now I'm managing to keep pace, which is uh, great news. Absolutely fantastic news. Someone at least use a blast shot. Oh wait, he's got zero AP. He's not gonna counter attack. So I'm pretty safe attacking him from melee range. Surprisingly, he hasn't dodged. Alright, he lost the legs. 
I guess that's something I have to be thankful for bazookas for. Must admit, I'm being this is a lot more efficient than I expected. That's fine. We'll deal with him uh, when he actually gets here. It's only turn five. We haven't taken too much damage either. There's the next melee unit. Three more left. There's a grenade launcher. He'll take one more turn at least to get to us. Come on, someone use a blast shot so that we can run him out of AP. Uh oh, don't tell me they're gonna start dodge trolling me now. Not now. Good. More damage to the legs, please. Fantastic. Now he cannot dodge. Lovely. Love to see all that uh, damage just keep going up. Are keeping pace with the incoming uh, melee units. In fact, more than that. Oh, we're just waiting for the next one then. Unfortunately, I will have to get my ass out of here next on in order to tackle the grenade launcher. Done during enemy phase. There he comes. Okay, he's only attacking one this time. We want to pre preemptively get rid of him. Is he in range by any chance? Uh, not in range of this guy. Last shot helps. Hmm, did a surprising amount of damage, must admit. is not gonna get as lucky this time. Yeah, too many misses. We don't exactly have the best accuracy on this guy. I guess uh, because I'm attacking from so far away. But once again, legs destroyed for whatever that's worth. I guess I'm still getting most of my damage from Splash.
Desperate times call for desperate measures. Come on. You can do it. One good shot. Which I'm not gonna get apparently. So close, so close. No, that's not good enough. Oh no, if it destroys my right arm, I'm gonna get uh, an accuracy deep drop. Shit, Daryl's in trouble. This mission is falling apart! Yep, arm destroyed. Great, just great. Well, let's see if we can at least uh, kill this guy quickly. 22 HP left. What? Okay. Man, it was going so well. It was just going so well. Let's see if we can get back on track. Surprisingly, the melee units weren't dodging, uh, like, at all. Every now and then, as expected. But they were dodging uh, a lot more previously. I guess part of the reason is uh, the bazookas are so good at knocking out the enemy's feet. Nice! We are pretty damn efficient when it comes to dispatching melee units. Took quite a bit of damage from the damn bazookas. Alright, alright, getting back on track. Loving it. I thought the melee melee units would prove uh, quite, quite a problem because they've got impact armor. But managed to do quite a splendid job. That's fine. Oh no, that's not fine. Phew. For a minute I thought he was gonna uh, knock off Rangus's uh, bazooka arm. It's turn 9. I mean, I'll be happy if we can uh, keep keep pace with the sniper playthrough. Wouldn't mind uh, an 11 turn victory. But that means this turn and the next turn I will have to Kill both of these guys. Which so far has been eminently possible. Just knock off his legs already. There you go. Come on, get him. What's taking so long? Kind of hoping uh, we get both of them this turn, but maybe that's too much to ask for. Yeah, 
Yeah, for some reason there seems to be a lot of variance in the bazooka damage. Oh shit, out of ammo! I forgot to pack ammo! Well, that's my bad. I guess I've reached, finally reached the stage where I'm, I'm running out of ammo. Don't think the ammo situation was this bad uh, in the sniper playthrough. Oh god damn it, why are you missing now? J4's hits. Okay, okay, let's stop moving. Turn 11. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen by turn 11 because we need one extra one turn just to move towards the turret. Plus, accuracy is gonna be horrible. That's fine, that's fine. I don't really care about taking damage right now. Twenty seven what? What do you mean twenty seven percent? Twenty five What Oh because you've got your arm knocked off. Crap. Literally half the accuracy. Thanks for that last time we got some extra damage in. Okay, so we got him um, by turn 12. I feel like, uh, if, if, if he hadn't run out of ammo on uh, J4, he could have gotten by turn 11, but it was marginal. It's still fine, I guess. I'm still keeping pace with uh, the rifle setup. It's a nice competition, even though it's just something I've made up myself. Uh, I'll see you next time, guys.